This is going to be a short tutorial on how to properly set up decals with my projective dissolve with lighting shader that supports normal mapping and all the lighting and stuff that I've made videos on before. As you can see, we have the particle variant on a particle right now that is color over lifetime and it's fading out as if it were, say, a bullet that has struck a surface and left a hot coal or something to fade out from a nice glowing yellow color. To make this easier to set up, I'm going to temporarily turn off color over lifetime and I'm going to make the range edge hard and keep the range at one. That should be enough. So first we're going to set up our textures. So I've got this texture here and don't worry if it doesn't line up, you fix that later. And the bullet hole texture here. And you can see that those line up and you get this sort of crater effect. And if they don't line up, you can just modify the offset until they do. So let's see about oh, other direction. Like right there, that looks about centered. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, in normal mode, without the decal toggle triggered, it's going to look like it normally does. So it's almost like viewing a window into the texture and the range uh, is going to be your max view. But if you turn on decal mode, then you can see that everything disappears. And that's because the UVs have not changed. So now it's way over there. You have to make sure that your texture is set to repeat. And there we go. Now we can see we have many, many of these. Uh, in order to only um, display one, we're going to use the range like before. Now in decal mode, you'll see that the texture moves with the particle, just like a normal decal should do. And the normal map moves with it. The lighting is still correct when the normal map moves with it. So everything just sort of works out really nicely that way. I'm going to make this smaller first of all. So I'm just gonna tile this and this to two. And now we've got a smaller decal here. Now that it's offset, you'll see that the uh, offset value can be used to recenter everything like that, and then just move this a little bit again to be eh, like right about there. Yeah, like that. Um, now we just decrease the range until we only see one of them. So about, mm, about there. And you'll notice that we still have this hard edge if we use the range edge fade, we can get a nice soft fade into the texture here. So it's really just about playing with these settings and getting the look that you want for the decal. And then once it's set up, you just use it like you'd use a normal decal. If we turn um, the color over lifetime back on, there we go. Suppose if you wanted to make it brighter, you could up the brightness, the HDR. That would make the glow a little bit brighter, but it would also add bloom if you're in a world with bloom. So be wary of that. You can tweak the lighting. You can see that right there. All the lighting gets tinted the color of your color over lifetime, so do be aware of that. But in most cases, it's fine. So there you go. That's how to set up my projection shader to work as decals for say guns or explosions or anything like that pretty simple it's just an extra little toggle here that you have to keep in mind and all of the features here still work so if you wanted to distort it for whatever reason that would still work hope you enjoyed the video hope this helped you out since this is a, a new feature and let me know if there's any trouble or if you need any assistance, just uh, hit me up on Discord and I will provide with as much assistance as I know how.